200,000 subscribers in weeks as the telco moves into the capital Addis Ababa following a pilot test in um, 10 regional cities. The telco's 2G, 3G and 4G mobile services are available in 11 cities, including the capital and the country's second largest city, Deir Dawa. It is now officially formal. Safaricom has arrived in Ethiopia. As President William Ruto arrived at Addis to witness the formal launch of the telco's operations, the plan is to be present in 25 cities by April 2023 to meet the 25 population coverage required under its license. The telco has now said that the plan is to leverage on data packages to crack the Ethiopian market as well as employ machine learning to come up with personalized products for the Ethiopian citizens, part of which will include the continued plan to pursue a mobile money license that will enable them to come up with a product like the regionally successful M-Pesa for peer-to-peer -peer cash transfers. Safaricom Telecommunications Ethiopia Chief Executive Anwar Souza was upbeat about the 200,000 clients that have already been onboarded, adding that what it note for the delays in signing on infrastructure, sharing deals and the COVID-19 pandemic the number could have been even bigger for the telecom that started this operation a year ago. The company says it has hired 650 employees for the new operations, comprising 200 expatriates and 450 local workers, including 50 fresh graduates. The consortium has spent more than $850 million, that is about 102.6 billion shillings, on acquiring the Ethiopian license and $300 million about 36.2 billion Kenya shillings as capital expenditure this year. It has pledged to spend more than 300 million shillings annually over the next three years to meet network coverage targets under the Ethiopian license. For Luka Business, Simba, Elijah Charles King.